a goal, firm goal. That it was back in September when Governor Gavin Newsom announced a new environmental initiative, setting a goal to eliminate gas-only vehicle engines by 2035. Berkeley City Council member Kate Harrison says Berkeley can reach that goal even faster. We need a plan. We need to know when we're going to get off these gas-powered cars. Harrison wants to ask the city to study what it would take for Berkeley to ban the sale of cars that run on gas or diesel by 2027. Used cars and the sale of trucks would not apply. I think we all have to recognize the challenge we have before us. Dealers will make more money from electric vehicles than they make from gas-powered vehicles. It will not affect our sales tax once the transition is made. I'm not sure if 2027 is 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 a realistic time frame. Mayor Jesse Aragine worries what this would mean for the city's car dealerships, which each bring in a large chunk of the city's sales tax. Our auto dealerships are important parts of our local economy. Uh, we need to do this in a way that's thoughtful. The manager at this Honda dealership declined to talk on camera, saying he was waiting to hear back from the city. The mayor says if the city wants to tackle carbon emissions, it needs to first convert its fleet of city-owned vehicles to all electric. We also need to make our buses and, and other vehicles all electric as well. Council member Harrison says she's going to refer city staff to look into this, but she says the goal is to set targets and have Berkeley lead the country in the fight against climate change. So we know this is happening right now. We want to be at the front of that market. In Berkeley, Melissa Colorado, NBC, Bay Area News.